good day to you. Today we want to bring the Lord's word to you. Uh, we know our country is in a very difficult time. Let's understand the situation from the word of God. I'm reading from Isaiah chapter 3. A nation has a support for economics feeding the people. A nation also gets the scepter or the staff from the Lord for governing the nation. Of course we know if a nation doesn't have the support for food and daily necessities, government becomes very difficult. So both the support and the staff has to come from the Lord. So this is how it is uh, uh, said in Isaiah chapter 3, For behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, takes away from Jerusalem and from Judah the, the support and the staff, the whole supply of bread and the whole supply of water. Now, how, why would this happen in a nation? Many, many reasons. We, we know corruption and, you know, different, different things. When that happens, what happens is the mighty man and the man of war, the judge and the prophet and the diviner and the elder, they all become useless. Their wise is lost. So it starts from the highest, comes down to the, uh, to the judges, the judiciary, and then comes to the captain of 50 different levels of the executive. All become useful. The honorable man, the counselor, the skillful artisan, expert enchanter, they all become useless. Uh, the people will be oppressed, everyone by another, and everyone by his neighbor. This is a sad thing when nation is out of governance, out of support and, and the staff. Uh, everyone becomes alone to themselves. People will be oppressed, everyone by another, and everyone by his neighbor. The child will be insolent towards the elder and the base towards the honorable. Then what happens is they are looking for someone who is willing to govern. When a man takes hold of his brother in the house of his father, saying, You have clothing, you be our ruler, and let these ruins be under your power. So people are looking for someone who is willing to take the ruins and govern over them. But the sad situation is, there is no shepherd. In this day he will protest, saying, I cannot cure your ills, for in my house is neither food nor clothing. Do not make me a ruler of the people. You know, normally there's such a competition to be the ruler. But here is a situation, they say, do not make me the ruler of the people. So what do we Christians offer the nation at this crisis, tragic time? Acts 20, what do we have to give the Lord? So Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, I give unto you. So Acts chapter 20, Paul puts it this way, But none of these things move me, nor do I count my life dear to myself, so that I may finish my race with joy, and the ministry which I received from the Lord Jesus, to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. So we are saying, Lord, we have given our life as a ransom for this nation. We have taken up the call of God in all earnestness. Please take our life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my days and my moments. Let them flow in ceaseless praise. So we offer our life a ransom for the redemption, that discharge of this nation. And we say, Lord, accept the life. So we are hoping that every Christian will, will do this. Accept the life. Uh, accept our life given to the Lord. And this is our sacrifice reasonable sacrifice to the Lord. Romans 12 says this, that the Lord will accept. <clears throat> this is our plea to the Lord. Take our life and let it be, Lord, consecrated to thee and take it as a ransom to redeem the nation out of the dead trap and out of this chaotic state. And if every Christian would take this charge seriously with the Lord Jesus Christ, we say, we have decided it shall be accomplished. Romans 12 has this, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. We are saying, Lord, take our life and redeem our nation. I'm not talking about physical death. I'm talking about a life so given to the Lord that all our energy, all our interests are fulfilled in the Lord. And the Lord says, yes, I will give your nation as a ransom 
because you made the sacrifice you made the commitment god's people and god will heal the land god bless you may we take up this challenge in earnest that our life call put together by all christians together will be ransom enough ransom sufficient to redeem our nation god bless you may you be encouraged and not discouraged don't go the way of frustration there are four main responses to this problem one those who think it will not touch them so they are sort of praying nice prayers and but they are keeping their distance they are praying nice prayers but it's yet okay for them two there are those who are angry and they are as angry as the protesters and then we lose our praying voice uh, and then we we are only angry and we are part of the problem we are not praying a solution three those who are fearful they pray in fear not in faith then also that's not a solution the fourth kind we say lord we understand the struggle we understand the terrible torment and the suffering of the people we understand the terrible gap the government has kept but we occupy the gap we become restorers of the streets and healers of the breach take my life and let it be consecrated lord to thee may we be encouraged to do this in jesus name god bless you